everyone welcome back to another video and today we are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and we're going to try to become the first undefeated team to go 17 and 0 in NFL history and yesterday we tried this challenge but I lost the first game and I chose the Buccaneers first of all they're my favorite team but second of all they lost the greatest quarterback of all time in Tom Brady to retirement so let's see if Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask, whoever they put in. Right now, Buccaneers did declare Kyle Trask not their starter. Baker Mayfield is their starter. So, we're going to see if Baker Mayfield can play good. I'm not expecting him to be like Tom Brady or anything like that. But let's see. Wow, he can kind of scramble a little bit. Okay, well, not exactly what I was hoping for there. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was really bad. That was probably the worst sitch that could have happened. Let's throw it over the middle. And okay, that looked like pass interference, but I guess it's not when you're playing the Vikings. We have Chris Godwin, we have Julio Jones, we have Mike Evans. So it's not like we have a shortage of talent on this team it's just all right baker mayfield gets a rush of 15 and it is fourth and six but bro it's franchise mode why in the world would i punt the ball that doesn't even make sense so we're gonna swing it out to rashad white and he is gonna pick up the first down just barely but just enough for the first down to keep this drive alive. And Baker Mayfield going back to, to pass, looking for something, but can't find anything. So he is going to pick up the first down on his legs. Baker Mayfield going, and he is off to the races earlier. All right, we're going to throw it over to White. And White picks up about one yard, which is not an ideal situation, but it is better than a loss. And we have Mayfield back to pass once more. And I think, oh gosh, his arm isn't strong. Why didn't Palmer guy catch? He could have gone like out. What? Dude, that is some bull crap. Are you kidding me? I know Mike Evans is fast and strong, and I knew he could come down with the catch. Michael Evans down inside the 25. So we are inside the red zone. Oh, wait, no, red zone's 20. My bad. We are on the edge of the red zone. Baker Mayfield is looking but cannot really find much, but he will get hurt. Okay. And pick up eight yards. We have we have Wolf John Wolford in front of Kyle Trask. I get he I guess he's really been that bad. And that pass is incomplete. Really, really hard. Goodness, I gotta keep him in. I know, I know it's a high risk, but John Wolford is so bad. And that will be a first down. Cade Otten for the first down. Nice little dump off there as we approach the end of the first quarter. And we have a tied game. 0-0. Zero, zero. It is technically tied because, you know, yeah. And we lost two yards. That is amazing. Baker Mayfield has a great completion percentage in this game. Sorry guys, I just got back from college and did all my homework and stuff, so I'm a bit, uh, bit tired, but... And Evans is gonna catch it, but there is a flag. And it is illegal touching, and it's on Mike Evans. Zero yards there, and that is the end of the first quarter. We have a third and 12 coming up on our fifth on the 15 yard line of the Minnesota Viking.
and wide open is Palmer and we are down at the one yard line knocking on the front door trying to get into the end zone I do honestly have no idea who Palmer is I think his name is Isaiah Palmer and we get picked up at the one Baker Mayfield that was not good come on buddy all right we did get pushed back real far at the seven yards line so let's give the run game a chance picking up about four yards there not a bad thing at all we are inside three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this second half in this first half sorry I'm being a bit quiet and Evans is gonna catch it and keep going all the way down to the 41 yard line great throw and catch from Baker to Mike Evans big Mike once again so big and so hard to bring down and that pass is incomplete a throw out of sack not much we could have really done there and Mayfield's back to pass again but he is pressured immediately but Otten comes down with the catch for a five yard gain nevertheless doesn't matter Kate Otten is gonna come down with the football and we're back to pass and it is overshot incomplete literally pressured from the second it literally pressured immediately had no time to think and Baker, Baker was not really expecting that pass I don't think and Evans catches it and that will be the two minute warning right there we have a first and ten inside Minnesota Viking territory and we have a 0-0 ball game nothing going man we made that mistake on the one yard line cost Honestly, I mean it didn't cost the game, but I said but I mean like maybe and He keeps his feet in bounds big mistake by the corner He let Evans keep his feet in bounds and that sets up a Great opportunity for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield is gonna run for the first down and get out of bounds to stop the clock Baker Mayfield has made some great plays and has some made some bad plays. He's going to throw it out to Rashad White for the touchdown. And Tampa Bay takes its first lead and the first points of the game. But let's hold on, guys. Folks, it is not over in this first half. I'm going to throw it. And that was a bad pass. Uh, incomplete. But we do have the ball. It is a second and 10. And we are going to try to get down this field and heck, maybe get a field goal and make it even harder. Throw it down the middle and make it even harder for this Minnesota Vikings team to get points. To, you know, to t it'll make it a two score game if we score even a field goal. Ryan suck up he's fine he's an okay kicker wouldn't say he's you know an elite kicker but and that pass is incomplete nothing doing there oh sorry uh, and Mayfield is looking like he wants to pass and that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing and Evans cannot catch it great throw but Andrew Booth had some great coverage there nothing could be done and the pass is incomplete Mayfield gonna try to get some of the yardage for a field goal we're gonna take that last time out and let's see what okay they recommend the field goal so we will take the three points and the kick is easily in and we have taken a 
Mc McLaughlin, McLaughlin, McLaughlin. Okay, I guess Ryan Suckup is not on our team. We do get the ball to start the first half. I don't, yeah, that, and Mayfield is in the game looking and looking. And Otten cannot come up with the catch. Somewhat of a good throw, very contested catch. That would have been incredible if he was able to make that. But it is not the end of the world. And Otten could not make the catch. He is not Rob Gronkowski, so obviously he's not going to make that catch. <laughs> and it is third and ten on our first drive. And we're going to throw it up for Halt. Don't know who Halt is. But this time we will be punting the football. Jake Camerda, whatever, he was great last year as our punter. And this is a somewhat good punt here. Best he could probably do. And he is down at the 40-yard line. And the Vikings will take over. But we get the ball right back. Defense made a great stop there, it looks like. And Baker's back to throw. And the pass is dropped. Could not be held onto, and it's incomplete. You're NFL players, you can't drop these. Baker's going to run, and he's going to get as many yards as possible. Loving the effort there by Baker Mayfield. And that is a first down by a mile. And Mayfield does not look like he is done passing. But there was nothing really there. He had immediate pressure on him right there. Man, immediate. little dump off here to Durham whatever and that pass is caught it is third and one and we are throwing on this play Throw it across. and I thought the receiver ran that route but he did not completely screwed up our play there are you kidding but we're gonna try to run for this first down and white gets absolutely slammed and does not pick up the first down absolutely destroyed by the defender and that pass I mean in that run is s completely and we're gonna throw it Otten has the whole field ahead of him but there is a flag and I think it is unnecessary roughness yes no need for that the Vikings they were a little bit too hard on Otten and that draws the penalty flag but that does keep the clock moving and that's not exactly what the Vikings want right now that pass is caught but is it offensive pass interference? It is on the defense. What a gr how in the world? What an amazing catch by Big Mike Evans. And we're going to actually throw it his way on this play and I think he's going to win the one-on-one -on -one catch. And nothing really going there. That pass is going to be and that pass is going to be incomplete. Uh, broken up by the cornerback. Pretty sure that was Andrew Booth. Good coverage there. Going to throw it in the end zone. And that pass is incomplete. Really not a good pass. It Baker Mayfield is going to look to the end zone for something. 
Oh my goodness. I think he stepped out of bounds before he caught it. Dude, I he caught it in bounds, but then... But then he stepped out before he caught it. Oh, that hurts. But we will take our three points right here. And that is good. It is 13 to 3. We have McLaughlin, 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 whatever. He helps us take the lead. And the Vikings have a long drive, but it only results in, in three. Not much going for the Vikings offensively at all this entire game. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to freaking slide. And they're going to call it an illegal forward pass because I was trying to slide. Really? Really? I was trying to flipping slide. And they're calling that an illegal pass. Technically, it would be illegal. But in Big Mike is denied incomplete sorry guys this video is long 16 minutes but it is crazy play here in Minneapolis and the pass is caught by Palmer and he will be one yard short but I think the right thing to do here is to punt it away because remember last time we did not get it. Rashad White is not reliable enough apparently to be able to get the first down. So we will punt it back and Kirk Cousins will have a chance. But no, nothing could happen there. Kirk Cousins could not get his team on the board. And that resulted in a quick three and out. And the pass is caught by Otten. And we are inches away from a first down. We're going to throw it to Godwin. I think that's his first catch of the game. And we need to stay in bounds. And we could take this all the way to the two minute warning. Which we won't because one has much time off the clock because if we score and the pass is incomplete, dude, that was bad. Two minutes and one second remaining in this game. And Baker Mayfield is going to look and, and look for anything that is open. And the pass is caught by Palmer for a gain of three. And the two-minute warning has ended. We're going to throw it. And Godwin's got it. And Godwin's all the way down to the three. But the Vikings will not give up just yet, folks. They are calling their timeouts. And we will run Rashad White as much as we need to here. Because even though he didn't get that first down, he is going to get this touchdown and seal the game for the Buccaneers. And we will just basically, I think we can just kneel this down. Our the Vikings going to be annoying. Yes, they will be annoying. And that is about it. Baker Mayfield is going to take just a few more snaps. And he's going to kneel. And the game will be over. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a boring part, so there's no point in me showing it. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Well, tomorrow. Bye. Please subscribe.